Hello, today we are going to be working on Foundations Unit 11, Week 2, Day 1. The objective is that we will be reviewing the long vowel sounds and the vowel consonant E syllable and learning two new trick words. So we'll go ahead and start with our warm up. This week we're going to be reviewing some of our letter sounds and then we'll also be reviewing our R controlled vowel sounds. Remember, as always, to say the letter or letters, the keyword, and the sound. F, fun, f, H, hat, Q, U, queen, qu, T, top, T, T, H, thumb, F. Remember when you say the TH digraph, your tongue sticks out just a little bit. A, R, car, R, E, R, her, er, U, R, burn, Er. Great job reviewing your sounds. All right. Now we're going to review all of our vowel sounds. Last week is when we added in the new long vowel sounds. So we'll go through each vowel. We'll say the short vowel sound first, and then we'll say the long vowel sound second. And remember, the letter U has two long vowel sounds because sometimes the sound gets cut off a little bit in words. So let's start. A, apple, a. Ah. A, safe, A. E, ed, E. E, peep, E. I, itch, I. I, pine, I. O, octopus, ah. O, home, O. Remember that this keyword is not house, it's home because we need to remember the O sound, the long vowel O sound. U, up, uh. U, mule, U. U, rule, oo. Great job. Now, we have a trick word review today before we learn our two new trick words. So I want you to take a second Look at all the words on the screen. All of these are trick words that we have already learned. And remember, trick words are words that you cannot tap out because there's something about the spelling that makes them tricky. So take a minute, read as many as you can on the screen. Okay, now I'm going to tell you a word. I want you to see if you can very closely look and find that word. Look for the word some, like I want some candy. There it is. Find the word into. There it is, good job. Find the word very. Here we go. Find the word try. Good job. Find the word hour. Good, and remember, this isn't our like the time, this is our like something belongs to us, like this is our classroom, or this is our pencil. All right, let's do one more. Find the word where. All right, good job, where. Now, our two new trick words are on the screen. Take a second, see if you can guess what they are. The first word is none. And you can see that none of the students are in this classroom. The second word is nothing. And you can see there's nothing inside of this box. We're going to practice our trick words by spelling them, tracing them, and then covering our eyes to spell them. And that is a super tricky thing to do. So let's make sure we pay attention to the spelling before we get to that part. All right, first let's spell. This is the word none. N O N E, none. All right, now let's trace. And remember, you can either follow along on the screen while I'm tracing, or you can use your sky writing fingers with a straight arm like a pencil and trace the letters in the sky. So the word none. N O N E, none. Good job. Now let's try covering our eyes and spelling none. None. N-O-N-E. 
E. Did you get it? If you did, good job. If not, keep practicing. Now let's look at the word nothing. First we'll spell nothing. N-O-T-H-I-N-G. Nothing. Now let's trace. N O T H I N G. Nothing. Okay, now for the hard part. Cover the eyes. N O T H I N G. Did you get that one? All right, I hope so. If not, keep practicing. Now let's look at our trick words in some sentences. You'll notice that we still have the same picture clues to remember the meaning of the word. So the first sentence says, none of the kids are here yet. So they're talking about the classroom. The teacher might be there, but none of the kids are here yet. We know that trick words are circled when we see them in sentences. So we'll circle our trick word. What's that trick word? None. Okay, let's reread the sentence. None of the kids are here yet. Great job. Now let's look at our second sentence. There is nothing in this box. You see that box? There's nothing in it. There is nothing in this box. What trick word should I circle in this sentence? That's right. Nothing is our trick word in this sentence. So I'm going to circle it. There is nothing in this box. Great job. Okay, now let's practice reading some unit words. So on the first column, we have some words. Some of them are nonsense and some of them are real words. But then in the second column, we have all vowel um, consonant E words. So we know that the E is not making a sound and it's controlling the vowel that's in the word. So we'll remember that we'll just not make a sound when we get to the E because it's staying so busy changing the sound of the vowel. So let's start with this one and you can tap it with me. R, I, S, RIS. Sounds like a nonsense word. Let's try this one. R, I, Z, RISE. Remember that the S when it's between two vowels in a word can make the z sound. So that's why this one is rise and not rice. Rise with the z sound. All right, next word. Scrap, scrap, like a little piece of paper, a scrap of paper. Scrape, scrape, like you scrape your knee. Next word, thron. That's not a word I've ever heard of. Over here, throne. I know what a throne is. That's like where a king or a queen sits. Down here, Spock. I think there's a character in a movie named that. O spoke like you spoke with someone on the phone l a k lack hmm. sounds like a word i know but the spelling is definitely wrong let's try this one l a k lake ooh a lake is a lovely body of water good job reading now let's review how to mark our words it's really important that you remember to mark everything inside of the word so that you're showing that you understand the letters and you understand the sounds. So remember the first step is to scoop the syllable. This is the word hide, hide. So we'll scoop the whole syllable, including the E because it's a vowel consonant E syllable. So the E needs to be scooped inside of that as well. The second step, is to label the syllable. We know that this is a vowel consonant E syllable, so we label it V for vowel, the little dash for the consonant, and then the E for the silent E, vowel consonant E. Remember that you need to label it vowel consonant E because this is not a closed syllable and this is not an open syllable. It is a vowel consonant E syllable, so that is why it needs to be marked that way. The last step is to mark the vowel sound. 
we know that we use this long line to mark the long vowels and the short vowels are marked with our little scoop, the breve, but our long vowels are marked with the long line, the macron. You also have to remember to cross off the E. We're not crossing off the E because it's not part of the word. We're crossing off the E to show that we know it's not making a sound. Got it? Good. So now it's your turn to practice. So remember, for this part, you can use a piece of paper and a pencil. You can use a whiteboard and a marker, anything you want to write with. You want to listen carefully to the words and the sentence. You want to carefully tap it out if you can. We're going to do some trick words today and remember that those are not words that we can tap out like our normal unit words. After that, you're gonna write on your paper carefully. And then the last step is to mark it up. So however you mark up those words, whatever you see inside of them, mark up anything you can, including marking up words in the sentences. All right, today we're gonna to do three trick words, three unit words, and one sentence. So get your paper ready, make sure you're writing small and neat so that you have space for all of the things you need on it. The first word is the word none, like none of the children are in class today. The second word is nothing, like there is nothing inside of this box, nothing. The third word is other, like I want that other piece of pie, other. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can pause the video, rewind the video to hear it again, or replay the whole thing if you need to. Okay, now we've got three unit words. The first word is maze, like I got lost in the maze, maze, m-a-z, maze. The second word is close, like please close the door. Close, k l o z, close. The third word is ride, like I want to ride a bike. Ride, r i d, ride. Okay, so now you should have three trick words and three unit words. The next thing we're going to write is the one sentence. And this sentence has seven words in it. So make sure you have plenty of space for all seven words. Some of these are simple words um, and they'll be quick for you to write, but some might take you a second to tap out. So make sure you listen to it again if you need to. The sentence is, the wise king sat on his throne. Wise means you're like smart. The wise king sat on his throne. Remember how we start sentences and how we end them. I'm gonna say it one more time. The wise king sat on his throne. Okay, great work today. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.